So Dean, I guess I'll never get bored saying this, but another win at home. How did you find it? Yeah, look, listen, everything I thought they'd do, they done. Um, we were a little bit sloppy in front of the goal in the first half. Just spoke to the players at half time about because what they were doing, the two sitting midfield players were following our tents, and there was loads of space behind the back of their midfield. So I tried to put a centre half there. That's why Nick Tavern scored. So we overloaded that way. So I thought tactically we were very good today, and they made it hard for us and tried to frustrate us. Um, and we just had patience, and we got the quality to do that, even though we only had six subs today. Boston came into this game, despite being in the bottom four, one of the most impressive away records in the league, I think it's fair to say, probably one of the only teams to have actually beaten York, but yet we found a way to find that win. Yeah, a great away record. They were 2-0 down at Altrincham, come back to 2-2 with 10 men as well, by the way. Uh, did a job on York, um, they rolled the storm early at York, but then did a job second half. And then I watched them again as well against Sutton, and they were outstanding there when they won 3 0. So we knew their strengths. We knew that with the three up front, what they sort of do is they like to go into the channel, so the opposite want to run into that channel. And that's how they got the goal, where they sort of set up the play. A cover wasn't on from our, our wing back, which was sloppy. It was something we spoke and videoed and watched and walked on on Thursday. So that's annoying. Um, Cox didn't get on the cover. Our three centre half out in the wide lane all together. Um, look really sloppy from them. So to go 1-0 down and then show... The, the most impressive thing for me is to go 1-0 down and then show the patience and quality and for the players to understand tactically what I want from them, especially when I show them video at half-time and show them where we need to be and how we can hold them. It was very impressive because it could have been a very frustrating day. Yeah, like I said about patience, probably once the first goal went in, it there was only really one team in it, one team that was looking like they were going to get the three points, and it happened to be us. Yeah, but it could have been a frustrating day. I've seen games like this here before where it can be frustrating, and we just what we did, our standards, our mentality, our focus was right. Um, our overload was what our centre backs going into midfield. Like I say, and that's how Tav's got the second goal. He went into midfield, and then obviously he's arrived in the box. We've crossed it early, and he's headed it in. So um, I just thought, all in all, from our point of view, another very strong performance. And uh, it was a good test for us, I was saying to players at half-time, this is actually a really good test, this is a test for the future as well, and can we pass it? And we did. Uh, just on the sort of 50-50 minute mark, I'm just curious to get your opinions. It looked like to be a huge penalty shout. Having seen the replay, it looked to be kind of obvious, but I guess what's your opinion on yeah, it? Yeah, look, listen, it's, and then you book Glover here for the, for the challenge he wins, safe and sound. So, um, I don't know, the game's gone a little bit, you know, the way all they speak about. And I like Alan as a referee, and I like Morgan out here as well, who was fourth official and went on, had to become linesman. All they speak about is body language and all that. But what have a great saying? You ever been to an Irish pub? Uh, in Rome, not in Ireland. You know, yeah. you know, go to an Irish pub and see what it's like, and everyone's waving their hands and talking, and that's my culture, that's my personality, and that's what I do. So, if you've been to an Irish pub, that's how we are. I'm not like disrespecting anybody, I don't use bad language. We're all worried about that all the time. It's just, you know what I mean? Get the decisions right, and you're right. That was a big moment in the game. It's a clear Stonewall penalty, so you'd like them to get them right. So but they don't all the time, they're human. So it's like me, sometimes I get a few things wrong in subs and stuff like that. So um, it is what it is, but we've won, so it hasn't affected us, which is the most imp uh, important thing. And once the leveller went in, what was sort of the feeling? I uh, just spoke to Nick, and he sort of said the floodlight, sort of, you know, he felt the confidence come from the team to go and find that winner. Was that the same view from you? Yeah, look, we've got that. We've, we've got that quality now. We've got that bravery. Look at our squad today. Look at the players that aren't involved. No Brown, some, no Clifford. They're big players on days like no Chapman. So we're just hoping we can get all them back. The sooner the better. But the strength and depth of the squad's very strong. So um, I just felt for me, I want us to be relentless. You know, I think we scored a third goal in the 88 minutes. Is that correct? It might have been around the 88. The six or seven minutes. I want us to go get another one and another one because this could go all the way. This could go down to goal difference. Uh, teams like Forest Green ain't going away. I feel like I ask this sort of question every week, but that's seven wins in a row now at home. The Hive is the place the teams won't really want to come to. How is it like to be on the receiving end of that? I just, I just focus on every game as it comes. I don't think it's, you know, just look at the next game. We've got Chelsea next week. We'll enjoy this weekend. I've given the boys a little bit of a break. They've well earned. They get a couple of days off. Now, they deserve it. Um, the fatigue levels are high, so um, we've come off the back of a really heavy month. Um, and we come out with flying colours, so we just got to stay focused on one game at a time. That's all we'll do, and uh, that's all. That's if, the biggest thing for me is the standards, a level of performance, our standards, and we all have to drive each other forward. And that starts with me and the chairman, and then it filters all the way down into the staff, into the players, and that's how we got uh, what we got to do if we're going to create success at a football club. Next up is Chelmsford in the FA Cup, bit of a breather from the from the regular season. So, what's your thoughts heading into that one? I know they're well organised. We've come up against them several times, played them pre-season, come up against them uh, a couple of years ago as well in the FA Cup. We had a replay with the goal there and win late, really late. 
super organised. Uh, Shamo has them really well organised and they're good people over there, good footballing people. It's a good football club. Uh, it's a club I'm fond of. So it won't be easy. They'll come here, they'll make it difficult for us. Uh, physically, they're very, uh, they're very strong, they always are. Um, so look, they are a good side and they'll be tough to beat, but they, I think they've been winning well as well. They've won four or five on the bounce. I don't know how they got on today, but, but we'll just treat them like we treat anybody else with respect. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. You know, I don't I sort of don't want the cup to come around. I want the league to keep going so we can keep picking up points the way we are with our form. But look, I'm merit. The FA Cup is the most magic cup competition in the world. So let's see how we go next week. Thanks, Sam, Dean. Cheers.